Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this effect in Photoshop. It's pretty easy and straightforward, so let's jump right into it. First off, import your image into Photoshop. Now we want our image to be black and white, so go to the Adjustments tab and click on the black and white adjustment. You can edit every single color by moving around these sliders. For example, I want my subject to be darker than the background, so I'm going to darken these colors a little bit. When you're happy with how it's looking, select both layers, right click and convert them to smart object. What we're going to do now is we're going to duplicate our layer by dragging it to the plus sign over here, or otherwise command J on a Mac. Control J on a Windows, I believe, uh, to duplicate your layer. Go to Filter, and we're going to add some motion blur to this. Uh, we're going to add it twice. So the first time, maybe something like 100 or a little less than that. We're going to duplicate our layer again. Double click on the motion blur, and this time we're going to add about maybe 400. Now what we're going to do is add a layer mask to all of our layers, but let's start with the top one first. We're going to remove the blur kind of from one side, and you can do that by just, when you add the layer mask, just grab your brush tool, make sure it's set on black, and that will remove the effect you applied. So we're going to do the same thing to the middle layer and removing the blur kind of like that. For the bottom layer, add a layer mask, and we're going to do the same thing, but on the opposite side. Now, you might not tell the difference now, but I assure you it's going to make a difference later. Finally, when we're happy with how this is looking, we're going to select all three of our layers, right click, convert to smart object. Um, we're converting all our layers into smart objects because we don't want to lose the effects that we have applied to the single layers. Um, so the cool thing about smart objects is, uh, as you can see, it has this little icon. So if I double click on this icon, it brings me back to where I have all my separate layers with all the effects I've applied to them. So if I wanted to, I could edit these settings, then just save this window file, close it, and it will update all the layers onto this file over here. Uh, so that's the cool thing. Um, now we're going to go to Filter, Filter Gallery, and we're going to add three effects, as you can see right over here. I'm going to delete them, and we're going to add them back together. Uh, first effect is under the Sketch folder, and it's the Graphic Pen effect. Now you want your stroke direction to be horizontal, because we want our kind of like photocopy stroke lines going horizontally, but you can try and playing around with these settings. For this, there's no right or wrong values. Uh, it depends on the effect that you're looking for. So just play around with the uh, settings over here till you're happy with how your image is looking. You can also always go back and change these later. So. Uh, now click on the plus sign over here to add a new effect on top, and we're going to add a halftone pattern. For this pattern, we're going to go with a line, and this is going to be the size of our scan lines. This is going to be the contrast, so I'm going to go with something like this. Finally, press on the plus sign again, and this time under the texture folder, we're going to add some grain to it. Uh, press OK when you're happy with it, and there you go. Now let's say I'm not really liking how this turned out. I can just double click over here, and it'll take me back to the um, filter window. And if I want to make some edits, I can definitely do that. And there you have it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment. If you have any tutorial suggestions, you can comment down below. And you'll find linked in the description below all my gradient map packs and my texture packs and all that good stuff. So definitely go check those out if you're interested. Also, take a look at my Instagram. I post daily designs on there, and I'm almost at day 600, so it's been almost two years of every single day 
posting a design. So it'd mean a lot if you go check that out as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.